What's up, Mopar fam? Had a message. Someone sent me a message and said to do a Thanksgiving cold start. So we're gonna do a Thanksgiving cold start, and it's more like a Thanksgiving hasn't started in about three weeks. Uh, the truck's been sitting for a few weeks now because we were waiting on parts and stuff to come in for it. But we're gonna do a cold start, or we're gonna actually attempt to try to start it and see what happens. But here we go. Frostbite looks a little neglected. And I'm a little sad. It needs a bath. It hasn't had a bath since we took it racing last time. And she just looks a little a little rough right now. There she is. So yes, there's a story to why we are sitting on jack stands. And I'm going to go over that in just a second. But we're going to get the key. And I'm going to try to fire old Frostbite up. And see what she does. She's up and running, she's alive, she still runs. All right, so let's get into what's going on with Frostbite. I'm gonna make it a little bit quieter because she does need to run. She's been sitting for a while and since we're running it, we might as well let her sit here and run for a second. So we're gonna close the exhaust cut out from the lab. A little bit quieter. Definitely don't thump as hard when it's running through the Dynomax race bullets. So, what is going on with Frostbite and why are we sitting on jack stand? Well, right now, the reason we're on jack stands is because I sold the tire and wheel package that was on the truck previously. I sold the race stars and my drag pack. And I think we've let it run a little bit. So I'm gonna shut it off because I'm afraid that you guys probably still can't hear me. But just for shits and giggles. I don't care who you are. That right there is badass. That's awesome. So I'm going to shut the truck off. But yes, guys. So as you could hear, that was the Spalab cutout. 
that we got it comes with the remote and I do have it programmed to my overhead door buttons up for, uh, up top but anyway the reason the truck's sitting on the jack stand guys is like I said I sold the tire and wheel package that was on the truck I got rid of the race stars and we ordered complete new wheels and tires the rear wheels has been on back order for a while so that's why the truck's been sitting on jack stands now over i'd say going on about three weeks almost it's been a, it's been over a couple weeks the front tire the front wheels has already came in um we went with the a true front runner wheel so we're going to you know true front uh front runner skinnies up front with a four and a half inch wheel so the front is in we're just waiting on the the rear setup to come in i already got the tires for the rear i'm just waiting for the uh for the wheels to come in for the rear now the wheels that we went with um i ended up going with the forge star because it's just hard to beat the money for them and they're super light they're much much lighter than the race stars was i'll be honest i still like the look of the race stars better i think um the forge stars i think they'll grow on me once i get them on the actual truck and see what it's going to look like but the forge stars look really good um we're going to do a video on those very soon i weighed the front um wheels and tires that we were running on the race stars and i weighed the front package for the forge star with the front runner and the weight difference guys is actually very very amazing it is a huge difference in weight we shaved a ton of weight just going to these other wheels not to mention the contact patch of the front runners are much much smaller so we're going to have less rolling resistance it's going to make the truck faster so that's why we're sitting on jack stands as soon as the uh, rear wheels get here then we're going to mount the tires up and put everything on and get it ready to go um, for the rear wheels we for the rear tires we went back with the same tires i was running the mickey thompson et street r's uh with a 315 50 17 is what we're going to put back on the truck and then the front is the uh race master 28 inch tall uh skinnies for the front is what we're going to run again video coming up with the tire and wheel combo going on and the weight difference that we've seen when i weighed them all in all just a quick little uh cold start video for turkey day and most of all just wanted to wish everybody out there happy thanksgiving hope you guys have a good one eat lots of food you know eat as much as you can but don't get uh don't get too too uh too sick out there on all the good the goodies and the desserts and so forth myself is about to get in the house and we got a turkey to fry a ham to cook and everything so we got tons and tons of food going on over here. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And I'm sure I'm going to be worthless the rest of the day. Um, we have lots of work to do the truck. And we've had little time to do it between work and everything going on. But that is the deal with Frostbite. That's what's been going on for a couple weeks. Um, with it sitting here like this, we just haven't been able to do much with it. But... In the future, I just want to let you know what's kind of coming up. The new tire and wheels are going down. We have a new rear brake light install we're going to be doing on a brand new product. It is absolutely awesome. I can't wait to show you guys that. So stay tuned for that install and that new product. Um, we have a new camshaft also, guys. Not sure when I'm going to reveal the camshaft, but new camshaft is also coming up very soon and we're probably going to be changing the fuel system up um, we're going to be putting in a different fuel pump soon and we're going to be changing fuels i'll go ahead and say we're probably going to be going to e85 and there's some reasonings behind that biggest reason is my pocketbook um, you know race fuel gets stupid expensive e85 is cheap and works just as good and actually can be much better in different areas uh, depending on your application, but we're going to be going to E85 on the truck, most likely. We're also ditching the Diablo tuner, and we're going to be going to HP tuners. So lots and lots and lots of cool stuff coming up soon, lots of new stuff. Um, lots of changes going down. It's going to be insane. Transmission is actually um, starting to get into the works as well. 
As many know, we're going to be getting rid of the 545 that's in the truck. We're going to be doing a Coke Racing 46RE swap on the truck. And that transmission will be fully built for our race and daily driving needs. Um, that transmission is going to have a, uh, a big stall converter in it. It's going to have a trans brake. And it's going to be built very, very strongly to hold a thousand plus horsepower to the tires. It's going to be insane. It's going to make the truck faster. It's going to hold up to what we want it to do. And in the long run, it's just going to be a better direction for this truck and the direction I'm pushing the truck to. Um, this truck is always going to be, you know, a fun toy. Go to the car shows, go drive it to work, go to the racetrack or whatever. But I want to take this truck to a whole different level of stupid fast. And we're going to need a transmission to do that. And I think the best way is going to be Cope. Um, Mr. John Cope over at CRT is going to have the transmission for us. So that's what's going down with it. Um, as soon as I save up a little bit more money so I can get this done, that is happening up. That is going to be going down very soon. So that is something you definitely don't want to miss. And I can't wait to get the transmission in the truck. It's going to be super fun to have a full manual valve body transmission where you actually get to shift the gears. It'll still be an automatic, but you shift the gears manually. So it's the best of both worlds. You're going to have an automatic transmission, but you can shift it manually. So it's going to be so much more fun just everyday driving to work or a car show or, you know, just in general. It's just going to be fun to drive. It's going to be awesome. So that's pretty much it. Um, I need to desperately clean up frostbite. Uh, we got a lot of cleaning to do. I feel bad because I haven't had the time to take care of the truck like I have. We got a lot of stuff we need to do to the truck, um, just appearance wise. Um, it's hard to tell on a camera or in pictures, but the graphics on the side of the truck are starting to fade finally um, from the sun. And a lot of that's me. I'm going to be honest, I'm not a big, huge person as far as waxing and everything. I hate waxing, I hate buffing. I don't have the patience for that stuff. So this truck has only been waxed a few times and that's probably why our decals are starting to fade is I just haven't been putting wax on them like I should be. So we're gonna have to put some new decals on the truck soon. Um, I also have something else in mind. I've been considering wrapping the entire truck. Something stupid cool. I have something in mind I have a guy that most likely I'm going to have do the work to the truck if I do the wrap. Um, he does awesome work. So there may be some apparent stuff going on with frostbite besides the tire and wheels. We may be doing a full wrap on the truck possibly this winter. We'll see. We'll see how, where our time and our money ends up being. But we got a lot of stuff to do the truck and little time to do it with and definitely a budget you know I'm not made of money but we're trying to get as much as we can done with as little as possible um, but everybody knows how that is you, you start you start here you end up up here and then you may break something and come back down here and then you go back up here so it's just kind of a it's just kind of a merry-go-round of getting everything lined up and everything working together so but biggest thing there's your Thanksgiving cold start as always guys have fun out there be safe enjoy your turkeys today and stay tuned for all the cool stuff coming on the truck and we'll see you on the next one